Alright, alright. So, where we left off, we just had a romantic night with not only one, but two of the girlfriends. <laughs> one is the ever so lasting, ever embarrassing Hazel Williams. And the other one is my ex girlfriend, aka Miss uh, <laughs> Lady You. And, uh,. Let's just say, there was a lot of fun going on that night. And, uh, a pretty awkward comment section. <laughs> so, uh, nevertheless, let's get right back into it. I awake early the following morning and descend downstairs to find you and Hifumi present in the kitchen. Looking good as always, sweetheart. Glad you enjoyed yourself last night. And hey, Afumi. Good to see. You is sitting at the table and she's already devouring her breakfast. This breakfast, like the others Afumi have made, is in a traditional Japanese style. There's white rice, pickled vegetables, grilled salmon, white rice, and today, for a change, Nado. I'm not overly fond of Nada myself. Its strong smell tends to put me off, as does its gloopy texture. My mother forced me to eat it as a kid. She said it was good for me, which left me with some Nado-related trauma. I'd prefer to keep my distance from fermented soybeans if at all possible. But you doesn't seem to share my compunctions. She looks very happy as she chows down on her food. Mmm. Your cooking is so delicious for me. I've missed it while I've been in the succubus realm. I have my own chefs in the palace, but they cannot prepare food like you. Their food is always lacking. Their rice is not as fluffy as yours. Their grilled fish is not as crispy. And they never serve natto. There's nowhere to purchase it in the succubus realm, and my chefs do not know how to make it. I grew rather fond of these fermented beans during the year I spent in Japan, and it breaks my heart that I cannot sample it more often. <laughs> she seems to enjoy herself. Look at her face. It's so adorable. You pops another bite of white rice and natto into her mouth, then chews contentedly. Her cheeks puffed out as she eats like a hamster, and she has a few grains of rice stuck to her upper lip. The Fumi giggles as she watches her, one hand on her cheek. I am very glad to hear it, and of course, I am glad I can cook for you once more. I am partial of not of myself, but the others are less keen. Ayu says it's disgusting, and the smell makes Cosmos rich. Marina eats it, but I think she does it for her health benefits, as opposed to genuinely enjoying it. It is most gratifying that you and I are on the same page. Well, we are related. Perhaps it is not so unusual that our tastes are so similar. We both like the same sorts of food. Yu's eyes fall upon me. I've been lingering in the entrance to the kitchen for a while, hoping to be <laughs> unobtrusive. But I guess I'm not as stealthy as I like to think. And we both like the same man too. That is indeed true, as cousins we have many similar traits. <laughs> uh, knowing you, I'm not surprised, to me. It is nice that we can celebrate our similarities, and I am pleased we are no longer feel the need to fight over pity. I have felt so much closer to you since we established this truce of ours, my dear cousin. Me too. 
I know I treated you terribly for a while, Hifumi, and I'm sorry about that. You're not an underling, and I have no right to treat you as such. You're a part of my family. I'm glad I was able to see you again. And though I know my actions may not always make it evident, I do love you. I love you too, dear. I will never stop being grateful that you chose to ascend the throne in my steed to become the princess of the succubus realm. You saved me a good deal of heart, though I must apologize in turn for foisting all my problems upon you. I fear it was not fair of me to burden you with my responsibilities. It is no burden. I agreed to take the throne because I wished to. It can be lonely in the succubus realm, and I decry the lack of Nado. But it is not all bad. I enjoy being pampered and worshipped by my subjects, and it is a fulfilling job. The power did get in my head, I will admit that. I was at a risk of going down a dark path, but I have seen since the era of my ways. Now I wish only to be good, fair ruler. I will keep the peace for both my sake and yours, so do not worry, I will not let you down. Thank you, you. You are such a sweet girl. By the by, Fumi smiles in that gentle, motherly manner of hers. You have a bit of rice stuck to your face. I do? Hmm? Just here. Fumi brushes the stray kernels of rice from Yu's upper lip and then pops them into her own mouth. Hmm? She swallows the rice and then smiles. One does not wish to boast, but your previous assessments are quite correct. This food is delicious. Perhaps I will help myself to some breakfast too. <clears throat> I cannot watch you eat that natto without wishing to sample some myself. What about you, Hin? Would you like to also try some natto? I know that's not what the sentence says. I'm just, I'm just spitballing. Fuck off. Um, should I pass my traumas? Should I pass my traumas here? I think I'm older, and I'll be mature, and give it a try. Sure, I'll give it a go. I'm not a big fan of natto, but I am a big fan of Fumi's cooking. If anybody can make fermented soybeans taste good, she can. I'm going to trust her on this one. Let's pray. You spoke about it pretty highly, too. Excellent. If you clap your hands together. I'm so glad. You must be a man after my own heart. <laughs> I, too, am incredibly fond of now. I wouldn't say I'm fond of it exactly, but I'm willing to persuade otherwise. You won't regret this, Yugi. You offer me a smile. Once you tried Hifumi's Nato, you will never be able to look at fermented soybeans the same way again. Her Nato is simply divine. Thanks, I'm looking forward to it. Fumi sets a bowl full of natto over rice in front of me. I look every bit as stringy as I remember from my childhood, and it smells funny too, but I'm not one to balk. I pinch some gooey fawns of natto between my chopsticks, then bring it to my lips. I part them, and then pop the nattos in onto my tongue. Mmm. I chew it for a while and swallow. The taste is deep, but it's not overwhelming. It doesn't make me want to gag like my mother's not a did, despite its sticky texture. When paired with this white rice, it might actually taste good. So, what do you think? Fumi watches me, smiling serenely. Is it to your liking, my dear Hideki? Yeah, actually, I didn't think I'd be this into it, but I eat another mouthful of natto than another. Now that I've started, I cannot stop. This is insanely Moorish. This is great! Thanks, Afumi. You really are an amazing cook. See? You puffs her chest out proudly. 
I said you'd like it. The Fumi's Nano is amazing. Oh, hardly. You're flattering me to pair of you. But I do appreciate it. <laughs> oh, look at her face. She's so embarrassed. Oh, she is so cute when she does this. She is so cute. I smile to myself as I chow down on the rest of my natto. It's bright and sunny outside, and the sky is a clear azure blue. I can already tell it's going to be a wonderful day. And that's where I'm going to end this part. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. It's been Zed, guys. Later.